The Suntu KB14 Compass, PM5 clinometer, and tandem sighting instruments utilize a plastic capsule that contains either a magnetic or weighted disc that rides on a sapphire bearing and oscillations are damped by a viscous fluid. These capsules are sealed and cannot be serviced or repaired. If they break, then they must be replaced, which can cost nearly $80 each, and a few weeks of downtime. The latest versions of these instruments use much thinner plastic than was used in the earlier designs, and the rigors of caving can result in cracking these capsules if they aren't adequately protected. Suntu makes a yellow silicone rubber cover, but this adds weight, makes reading the instruments with one eye more difficult, and only protects the parts of the instrument that are least in need of protection, that is the aluminum housing. They are fine if you're concerned about avoiding cosmetic damage, but the face of the plastic capsule is the thing most in need of protection. Caver and National Park Service cave specialist, Mark Ohms, developed a technique for protecting instruments from the harsh conditions found in Wind Cave, South Dakota. This includes gluing a 0.1 inch thick piece of polycarbonate to the face of the instruments, and then dipping them in tool dip. This does an excellent job of protecting the instruments, but requires a trip to the hardware store, access to some tools, and a bit of time and patience. Swago Gear now sells Sightlight Shields for either the Suntu Tandem or a pair of Suntu KB14 and PM5 instruments. The Sightlight Shields are custom cut to fit these instruments and provides both impact protection to the faces and a pre-installed phosphorescent Sightlight device so the instruments can be read without the use of an external light. The kit comes with an alcohol wipe for cleaning the surfaces of the instrument, a set of plastic adhesive discs for maintaining the seal on the capsule even if they do develop a crack, and the 30mm polycarbonate shield with sight light. The glow-in-the-dark phosphorescent sight light needs to be charged with a flashlight or headlamp before use. Recharging these periodically takes just a few seconds, but they generate a green light that makes taking readings easier. The sight lights eliminate the need to hold your helmet or a second flashlight to illuminate the face of the instrument. This makes it possible to hold the instrument with both hands, which significantly improves stability and therefore reading accuracy. It also reduces the potential for magnetic interference from getting a flashlight or headlamp too close to the magnetic disc when reading the compass. Installation takes just a couple of minutes. If you own a Suntu instrument for cave survey, then I strongly recommend protecting your investment with the Swago light shields. The kit for a tandem or a KB14 compass and PM5 in kilometer costs just $22 including shipping. You can buy these directly from Scott McRae at swagogear.com. You can find a link in the description below.